Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Old Car Auto Guy. My name is Jason. We are coming to you from Hammerdown Motorsports Garage and Steve Fast, so stay tuned. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got Steve Fast, the man himself. What's going on? Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the shop. And thank you for inviting us into your man cave. Absolutely. And you're going to show us around some of the projects you're working on? Sure. Yeah, it's uh, kind of a disaster right now, but we'll get it all figured out. But every man's <laughs> dream just the same. Yeah, I mean, once we get it all finished and organized and I get it my shelving where I want it, we're not going to have all this junk everywhere, but, you know, it is what it is right now. It's always a work in progress. Right now we've got construction going on. We've got truck build going on which has taken up all this and yeah this is just kind of how my brain works it's uh, go to this go to that have about 10,000 things going at once that's just how it is and if you guys aren't following Steve on uh, his YouTube channel you'll want to check it out he's got this amazing second gen uh, Dodge build that he's working on right now and it has come an awful long way There's the $150 F-150, started right up. Oh yeah. You put air in the tire, we can take it for a jump. Pretty much convinced that this little uh, gradient here was left that way on purpose. And then Steve says, why don't we uh, try and jump it? Okay. So guys, the plan is, we're gonna start over here at a high rate of speed, come over to this little ramp and jump the truck. And we're gonna see if we can catch some air on camera. <laughs> yeah, buddy. <laughs> Oh, that was good. <laughs> yeah, I think I want to try that. <laughs> oh, seatbelts recommended. Oh, yeah. And man, oh man, she is hot as you know what in here. Any AC in this thing, Steve? Seatbelts on. Safety first. Oh, man. <laughs> As you can see, it is not any acting at all. When you go off that jump, that is like the best thing that you can do around here. It's, it's he awesome. does his own stunts, folks. <laughs> <laughs> little little spot right here in the that'll buff. That'll buff right now. Who needs a tail light? There Come on. Is. So guys, as in previous videos, I mentioned to you that when we go to visit another YouTuber, we're gonna come with gifts. So Steve, I've got something for you. Actually, a few somethings. Well, I'm excited. I gotta see what this is. They came all the way from Canada, and uh, it'll make you feel like you're right at home. Sounds good to me. So first things first, I see the lid come off of our uh, cooler here. We'll save. We'll save that. You want to jump grandma up there? <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta make her home. So oh yes. All there the way go. from Canada, we've got you some uh, ketchup chips. You gotta have the ketchup. Chips. Gotta have ketchup chips. You guys in America, you guys gotta get on the ketchup chips. And hers makes a really good one if you guys want to get them out here. Oh, Secondly, yes. we've got you something to decorate your garage with. Here's the thing. I've been asking for plates since I probably started my YouTube channel. This is this is the first one. We've primed the pump, everybody. There so we go. <laughs> if you guys want to go in my description, you can send me a plate if you like, because we definitely will find a nice place in the shop for it. And that particular plate is off of our very own shop truck. Oh, sweet. As of uh, last month, uh, New Brunswick no longer requires to have a front plate, so okay. we were taking front plates off of all of our vehicles. Perfect. I will find a very nice place in the shop for this. It's even got some Canadian bugs. Yeah, there. I love it. exactly. Those ones there won't hurt the environment though. No. Not like no, the ones you guys got not. down here. Oh yeah. The other thing that he had specially re requested was a chocolate bar, and apparently he can't get Wonder Bars down here. Wonder bar. Steve, there is a bag full of Wonder Bars that that's awesome. sitting in the cooler. If you guys go to Canada and you have not tried a Wonder Bar, that is the next thing you're gonna do the first chance you get. They're awesome. And last but not least, straight from Fredericton, New Brunswick, is Pickeroon's very own dooryard. Oh yes. I'm 
gonna have to give this a shot. That is a it's, small it's batch. A pretty nice day for this. I it guess. is, and I think it might be uh, worthy of cracking a couple of those. We got a few left, so okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave two of them with you. Awesome. And uh, then that leaves a few more for uh, old Kip and I at the hotel room when uh, nothing else is going on. So. so so if anybody wants to come and shower me with gifts and come visit the shop, I'll be more than happy to take you for a jump in the F-150. <laughs> Cost of admission, boys, is yeah. a jump in the, in the old F-150. Absolutely. It is more fun than you think. I mean, honestly, like camera does not do it justice. So for those of you who don't know, uh, Steve is originally from Alberta yep. and has moved down here to Pennsylvania. Not quite sure why. The uh, roads are horrible and... Uh, You've been Edmonton. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. Anyways, guys, check out Hammerdown Motorsports. We're going to get a little more uh, views of inside the garage and some of the other projects he's got. Uh, the uh, Camaro as well as the Dart must be around here somewhere. Yeah, it's up in that shop there. Okay, so we're going to take a look at it and uh, we'll be right back with you. So Steve is so accommodating, he asked if there was anything that we wanted to go for a ride in. So just recently he had a new option outfitted almost as a power adder on this Dodge Ram, 2019 Dodge Ram. And I'm going to get him to explain a little bit about it and uh, we'll do a little bit of a demonstration. So Steve, I was just explaining to my viewers about the most recent uh, power adder, so to speak, to this truck. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can explain a little bit of it and give us a little bit of a demonstration, maybe. Well, we've got the JMS Pedal Max on this truck. It's got a little dial that I turned down here. It actually increases the sensitivity of your throttle. And right now I just turned it off. So this is totally stock right now. So I'm gonna give you guys the impression of what the truck's like from the factory, and then we're gonna turn it up and show you guys what this Pedal Max really does. Right now I'm about a quarter into it, pretty average. Not really any, not throwing you back in the seat or anything like that. Up here we got a straight piece of road. I'll give you a, like a, pretty much a pull, just factory. And then we'll do one with a crank to 100. That's what you're gonna expect from the factory. It's not bad. I mean, it gets yeah, up and goes. It sounds good too. It's hopefully going to be sounding a lot better pretty soon. Sounds like that's a tip to <laughs> stay tuned to Hammerdown Motorsports. Absolutely. We're still waiting, but there's definitely something in the works. All right, so we got Jason in the Ram. He wanted to try out how the difference between the Pedal Max is. So we already did a pull just factory, so you already know what that's kind of like. Now we're going to turn it to 100. We're going to go from a stop and show the difference. Holy cow! <laughs> Man. What a difference. So, for those of you who thought I was acting on the last video, dude, there you go. <laughs> it's a big difference, definitely. I mean, there's nothing else on this truck other than that pedal max. So, there you have it. Instant tune. Real life reaction. Wow, right there. that was pretty cool. <laughs> And I think it's important to note too that we're on a very windy road and this truck handles those corners like it's on rails. Oh yeah. Like that is the Ram 1500 suspension for you. I keep calling it a Dodge Ram. Everybody always gives me crap for that. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> so first impressions of the Ram 1500 Laramie Sport. I love it. So we've been for a ride in the old F-150. He's taken us for a ride in the Ram 1500. And then he says, what's next? And guys, there's no doubt in my mind, we are going for a ride in the supercharged Camaro. Wow. So we're gonna do our very best to make sure that everybody's got lots of room. How you doing back there, Kip? <laughs> Great. <laughs> <laughs> but for the chance to ride in this, I'm absolutely all in. All right, so this might be the last time we see my knees in this configuration. No, I trust you're driving 100%. <laughs> you do. All right, that makes one of us. <laughs> Going for a ride in the Camaro. That does not get old. No, definitely not. <laughs> so you guys remember back when I was taken for a drive in the Demon. I'm going to put that video right here. 
but I can guarantee you that the smile on my face about 30 seconds ago was twice the size. <laughs> this car in a six speed just, I don't know, it just seems to deliver that power. It's light. So much better. Good old Alpha chassis. They don't disappoint. And that song, oh, oh it just sings to you. <laughs> Long tubes, catless mid pipes, American racing headers all the way through. Nice. to that thing Holy. so yes folks we just went for the ride of our lives in the Camaro and I guess that means someone else is gonna have to top that one at a later date we've done the Ram we've done the Camaro now it's time for the dart <laughs> Nineteen seventy two Dodge Dart Swinger. From new school muscle to old school muscle. This is quite the car. Reminds me a lot of my own. Good old three sixty. Big cam heads. Long tube headers on it. Got a big stall converter. time at all. <laughs> so on the way back here in the dark, Steve had asked me, you know, how would I rate the different vehicles that we rode in today? Between the F-150 Jump, the, the Ram 1500 Drive, the Camaro, and the Dodge Dart. As an old Mopar at heart, the Dodge Dart Swinger comes in at a close second to that Camaro. That, that was an amazing ride. I can't believe it that uh, we were doing what we were doing. Uh, I rated that on a smiles per mile scale of about a 10. So, uh, you know, as much as I love the new Ram and as fun as the jump was in the F-150, we had a lot of fun today. That Camaro was the highlight of the day. And uh, again, be a while before this smile goes away. So as we get ready to end this video, I want to thank Steve so much for being such a great guy and taking us out for all these rides, jumping the F-150, showing us the new power adder on the Ram, scaring the living crap out of us in the Camaro, and then the old school ride in the dart. Steve, thank you so much for being such a hospitable guy, My and pleasure. I know it's because you're Canadian. It's not that often that I get to scare the living daylights out of people, so I mean, if anybody wants to come over, I'm free to do this every day. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and uh, you know the trip back from Mexico was very, very quick. Yeah, yeah, no delays at all. It was that we brought the weather with us, though. Unfortunately, it is a little bit warm, but I mean, hey, it's all good. It's that's all good. The faster you go, the wind just blows in, and then you cool down. So I mean, that's that's 100% the reason why we had to go as fast as we did. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Speed limit, of course, 55, 55 and a 55. No more. And less. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Anyways, I'll be back to close out this video, and I realized that. Yesterday we had so much fun hanging out with Steve Fast 
that I forgot to record an outro for that video. So guys, thank you so much for tuning in. We had a lot of fun with Steve and driving around in some of his cars, jumping the old Ford F-150, and uh, just getting to hang out with another YouTuber. It's made this trip all that much more worthwhile. Don't forget, Last Fit is sponsoring Old Grandma and the headlights, license plate lights, and reverse lights. We're soon gonna be switching out some more, so make sure you stay tuned for that. If you want your very own LED automotive lights for your vehicle, you can visit lastfit.com. And if you use promo code OLDCARAUTOGUY10, you'll get 10% off. Also, Sussex Beard Oil is always sponsoring this beard Get your very own beard products at sussexbeard.com. Thursday evening live streams, guys. Straight Six Fan, Old Car Auto Guy get together for a collaboration and do a live show. Once we finally get all the details worked out to live streaming once again, it's like we're starting school back in grade one trying to learn the alphabet. We're just starting from scratch. I hope you guys stick with us. Uh, know that it's a little bit of a learning curve for both of us. And we will be, uh, once we get things back up in here, we'll be talking automotive chit chat and uh, we hope that you guys will join along for that. And as always, stay focused on the windshield, not the rearview mirror. I love you guys, God bless. Let's do it again real soon.